The Infante Philip of Spain was born in Valladolid on May 21, 1527. He was the only surviving son from the marriage of the Holy Roman Emperor and Spanish King Charles V to Isabella of Portugal. The young Philip was raised at his own court and received a thorough academic education in keeping with the spirit of the Renaissance. In addition to his Spanish mother tongue, Philip mastered Portuguese and Latin, but he had difficulty learning German and French, which was later to have a negative effect on his reign. On May 4, 1543, Philip was appointed by his father as regent of Spain. On November 13 of that same year, Philip married his cousin Maria Manuela of Portugal, the daughter of the Portuguese king John III. After two years of marriage, Maria developed a fever after the birth of her son Don Carlos and she died on July 12, 1545. Philip left Spain for the first time in 1548 to visit the various territories under the Habsburg rule. On April 1, 1549, Philip made a ceremonial entry into Brussels and was reunited with his imperial father after seven years of separation. Philip set out on a journey to the Holy Roman Empire on May 31, 1550. During his stay there, he met with representatives of the Austrian line of the Habsburg House. Unlike most Habsburgs of the generation before him, who as a rule had undergone an extremely polyglot and international socialization, Philip had grown up without having sufficiently learned French or German. Reinforced by his personal aloofness, his inadequate language skills prevented him from communicating in his foreign language environment and he was soon regarded as haughty by his Austrian kin. In July 1553, Mary Tudor ascended the English throne and began to re-establish Catholicism in a country that had been Protestant for two decades. Because of the persecution of non-Catholics that began under her reign, she was given the nickname Bloody Mary. A marriage between Philip and Mary was arranged as Mary hoped to secure the Catholicization of England through the union with Spain and to give birth as quickly as possible to a Catholic heir to the throne who would have excluded her Protestant half-sister Elizabeth from the succession. On July 21, 1554, Philip arrived in England and the marriage to Mary took place four days later in Winchester Cathedral. According to the marriage contract, Philip was given the title of King of England, but his real power was reduced to the functions of a prince consort. Soon, Mary was said to be pregnant and the birth of a child was expected in April 1555. However, when July passed without her giving birth, it became obvious that she was suffering from either an illness or a false pregnancy. Only the prospect of the birth of an heir had kept Philip in England, which is why he left the country. In the meantime, Charles V, whose health had been deteriorating for quite some time, died in September 1558 in his self-chosen refuge in a convent at San Geronimo de Juste, near Jare de la Vera, in Extremadura. Two months later, on November 17, 1558, Philip's wife, Mary Tudor, died without leaving an heir. The now mature Philip became king of Spain, head of the Habsburg dynasty, as well as ruler of the Netherlands and emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. His main goal was to preserve and expand the Habsburg dominations, to protect them from the Turks and to contain the Reformation. Philip was an advocate of the Inquisition, which played a decisive role in achieving religious conformity. Its strict laws, repression and violent persecution of heretics, Protestants, Jews and Muslims was increasingly extended to political enemies during Philip's reign. In 1561, Philip chose Madrid as his permanent residence and ordered a royal residence, a monastery and a dynastic tomb 
later known as El Escorial, to be built between 1563 and 1586. From that moment onwards, Madrid became the Spanish capital. As a condition of a peace treaty with France, Philip married Elizabeth of Valois on February 2, 1560. Elizabeth was the daughter of Henri II of France and Catherine de' Medici. Philip's marriage to Elizabeth of Valois produced two surviving descendants. Isabella Clara, who married the Archduke Albrecht VI, Archduke of Austria, and Catalina Michaela of Spain, who married Charles Emmanuel I, Duke of Savoy. After the death of his third wife and his only son Don Carlos, Philip was still without a male heir to the throne in 1568, which is why he decided to marry a fourth time to the Archduchess Anne of Austria. The marriage between Anne and Philip took place on September 12, 1570, in Segovia. The union produced five children, of whom only the later King Philip III of Spain was to reach adulthood. Anne of Austria died of influenza on October 26, 1580. Philip II's foreign policy was characterized by wars against France, the Netherlands, the Ottoman Empire and England. In 1571, on the initiative of Pope Pius V, the Holy League was formed by uniting Venice, Spain, Genoa, Savoy and some other small Italian states. Spain was given a leading role in the coalition. A complete victory over the Turks at the Battle of Lepando was accomplished. This victory had no immediate material results for Spain, but greatly raised the prestige of the Spanish navy in the eyes of Europe. The war with Turkey continued intermittently until the end of Philip's reign. The brutal persecution of Muslims, Jews and Protestants contributed to Spain's economic decline, already noticeable in the first decades of Philip's reign. But Spain retained its political power until the height of the revolt in the Netherlands. This revolt was largely caused by Philip himself, who introduced and enforced the Inquisition in that country. Furthermore, from 1585 onwards, Spain was at war with England. After Philip's second wife, Mary Tudor, had died, he had expressed a desire to marry her successor, Elizabeth I, but the latter artfully declined the proposal. At a time when the successes of the Dutch against the Spanish were growing, Elizabeth showed sympathy for the cause of the Dutch. Consequently, in 1588, Philip sent a huge fleet of 130 large warships, called the Invincible Armada, to the coast of England. The Armada, however, was scattered by storms and broken by successful attacks by the defending English squadrons. Philip took the news of his misfortune with an unusual outward calm, but in practice it depressed him quite greatly. He never made peace with Elizabeth for the rest of his life. Spain's unsuccessful war with England untied the hands of the renegade Netherlands and of France. They felt themselves more free. The former from persistent military confrontations with Spanish landing parties, the latter from diplomatic claims and intrigues by Philippe and the Dukes of Guise. All his plans, which he carried out with the help of the French Holy League, and even his attempts to put his daughter Isabella Clara on the French throne, ended in complete failure. Yet there are also successes to report, such as the unification of the Portuguese and Spanish throne, which greatly expanded Philip's colonial empire. The unification would last for 60 years and the Spanish colonial empire would remain the largest in the world until the 19th century, establishing Catholicism in Latin America and the Philippines and making Spanish a world language. Philip II of Spain died of gout on September 13, 1598. He was succeeded by his 20-year-old son Philip III, in whose competence Philip II had no confidence. Philip left behind a morally impoverished Spain 
and the immense El Escorial Palace near Madrid. Thank you for watching.